I love char siu. It's gonna be difficult for you. Char siu is pork. How do you make it? It's like nice, thick, fatty meat. You don't sound confident in my abilities. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Merle. You may know this about me. I am truly obsessed with ramen. And my friend Rie is a little bit, a little bit skeptical about how good vegan ramen could be. So I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna take her to find the best vegan ramen you can get in LA. And then we're gonna come back to the studio and we're gonna make our own delicious vegan ramen. And finally, she has to choose which one she likes the best. So let's go get Rie. Rie, yes. I'm so happy I have you here today. Me too. Honestly, just nice to hang out after so much time. Yeah, I think the last time I saw you was in the office. Mm -hmm. So it's been almost two years. Everybody knows you because you're an icon, oh, no. but also you've got your amazing show, Make It Fancy, Thank and you. you're a long time Tasty producer. That yes, for long as long as you. Yeah, yeah we kind of started at the same timing, right? You're kind of an anomaly when it comes to Tasty Producers because you actually went to culinary school. Yes, I went to French Culinary Institute. Have you have you dibble dabbled at all in any like plant based cooking slash like what's your what's your thoughts on you know the whole vegan thing? I don't have any discrimination to order to any kind of cuisine as long as it's delicious. <laughs> so it doesn't need to have meat at all. And also Japanese cooking, we don't use a lot of meat as long as it's good. I eat anything. That's a good motto to have. Rie, yes. you're a big fan of ramen? Yes, I am. Me too. Mm -hmm. So I would love it if you could like paint me, like Bob Ross, paint me a picture <laughs> of your dream ramen. I had a privilege to go to Japan with Walset boys. I ate a lot of different ramen, and we also went to ramen shop that we didn't film. The restaurant name is Afri. They have very light broth ramen. As for ramen topping, I like jammy egg, I like chashu. So today, I'm gonna to be taking you to a ramen place that I like a lot, yeah. and it's called Gokoku. They have this really awesome Beyond Meat ramen. Beyond Meat is a burger patty. Yes. Have you had it? I don't think so. Ooh. Oh, wow. Exciting. Yeah. We're gonna head to the ramen shop. We're gonna see what you think. I'm very excited for you to try it. Yes, me too. And I'm also excited to eat some ramen because as we all know, yeah. there is never too much ramen in my life. Would you mind telling us a little bit about like how you went about starting Gokoku? Gokoku started off from by my extension family. They start off the Gokoku, they named this one. I take over Gokoku because of my grandma. She was vegan, but she's passed away right now. So when we take over, take over the name, take over the place, we're making our own improvement. So we add more vegan sushi, add more vegan ramen. My food is heavily influenced by Japanese, Chinese food and any Asian culture, I love it. I like to think there's no borders with food culture. Most of the traditional ramen, there's eggs inside, yeah. but we order some special factory noodle, there is no eggs noodle. For the broth part, we have fresh fruit, fresh vegetable, which we're blending together to make sure it's the ramen broth. I've never even heard of that, that's so cool. And the other so part is the Chinese herbs. We are cooking like 24 hours. Actually, we put in the pot every day. And for the vegetable part, fresh vegetable like bok choy, broccoli, and like vegan beyond meat, we marinate and add our own flavor. It was my dream, open a restaurant, because I'm passionate on cooking and especially by vegan stuff. In our culture, food is love. I am so excited to eat right now. Like, I cannot wait to try all these I things. I can't wait to like, you guys to try everything. Let's eat. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, Rachel. Oh. This is looks incredible. It just looks like a regular ramen to me. It does. Yeah. I want to like wash my face in it. Yeah, you know it smells I mean? so good. Oh my lord. So there's corn, there's the wood ear mushroom, there's bok choy. The Beyond Meat looks yeah. pretty convincing. Can we eat? Mmm. so good. Wow. Oh. How can this not be non vegan? Without wow. a doubt, the best vegan ramen I've ever had. Mm. This is sensational. Mm hmm. This is so good. This kind of tastes like a spicy miso ramen I like. Mm. It's very creamy and also like very, how do you say? It? It's very filling. Mm, it's very hearty. And she said it has fruit, right? Do you taste any fruit? I don't taste any fruit, but I guess that must be how they incorporate like a hint of sweetness. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. Yeah. 
if I go to ramen place, somebody give it to me, I wouldn't believe this is a vegan ramen. Wow. I think this is like regular ramen I eat all the time. That's a big deal because remember when we were in the car and you asked me, yes. how? It's going to be difficult for you. Well, I didn't do this. <laughs> That's the first thing. But she did. Yeah, the flavor of mm -hmm. it is fantastic because Beyond Meat's good already, but like the seasoning she's used here is yeah. spot on. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to talk anymore because mm -hmm. I'm like, I just eat this whole thing. I loved it. I, if I live around here, I would come here all the time. It's like very nostalgic to me too. That tastes like Japanese ramen. I feel like that was one of the concerns. Like, you know, you were curious if there a way to replicate that feeling, but to hear that's nostalgic is even better. That's yeah. great. Yeah, I don't know how she does it. I have a misconception about vegan ramen can be blunt, but yep. she flipped my bias. Not everybody has a delicious vegan ramen shop around the corner. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take you back to the studio okay. and we're going to make our own homemade vegan ramen so everyone can have great Yay. vegan ramen. Yay, I can make a home too. Yes. Yay. So we're back in the studio. Yeah. Woohoo. And now we're going to make our own vegan ramen. Okay. Do you believe in the powers of me to make a really good comparable vegan ramen? 100%. Even though the one we have was just so good. It was so good. I still dream about it. I'm not phased. I'm not scared. I'm not intimidated. Well, well, this is not a competition, right? Oh, it is. is it? Okay. <laughs> I recognize the healthy competition, mm -hmm. but I need to win. Okay. You, in your ramen, mm -hmm. you're, you like to have chashu pork. Yes. Right? Okay. I love chashu. I have the insider information, so I know that. And we're going to making a vegan chashu using king oyster mushrooms. Oh, nice. I love king oyster mushroom. It's very meaty, mm -hmm. so it's very satisfying. Yes. So we're going to put these in this bag. Okay and then you're gonna sprinkle some salt okay. to kind of dehydrate these a little bit. They're gonna shrink up and it's gonna pull out the moisture. All right, so I'm gonna release the air and then I'm gonna let you do the honors of massaging these because okay. that just feels fun. And then soon enough, they're going to shrink down very nicely. And are we gonna keep this for later? Yeah, that's a very good question. Since, you know, it's good full, we wanna keep these so we can toss them in a saute, not waste them okay. for later. Uh, good. It's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna squeeze out some of the excess water from these mushrooms just into the bag. Okay. While I'm squeezing the water out of this, you're going to be mixing up these ingredients which are going to impart some more of a meaty flavor mm -hmm. into our little mushroom friends. All right. So we've got some water. We got sake, we've got soy sauce, ginger, garlic, green onion. Oh, <laughs> she made a choice. Sugar. Do it, do the sugar. <laughs> and then yes, green onion and smoked paprika. I'm gonna pop these in there. We're gonna bring it to a boil and then we're gonna turn it down to a simmer. And then we're gonna let that simmer for about 20 minutes. And we're just gonna occasionally turn the little mushrooms around. Okay, so now these have been simmering for about 20 minutes. And if you wouldn't mind, you go ahead and take the mushrooms out and put them in our strainer. And then in the meantime, if you wanna reuse your liquid that we have here, you could use it to marinate tofu, add to sautés. I think you can also use for broth. Ooh, that's, that's so true. Yeah. So we're just gonna let these cool down for about five minutes and let them kind of strain in the meantime. Okay. All right. Now comes the interesting part. Okay. We are gonna take your little mushroom. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna name mine Dobi. Dobi. Mine so, is Dotti. They're cousins. Yeah. We're gonna want to put our hands flat on top here, mm -hmm. and we're kind of going to just thinly slice into this and. We just kind of want to scrape it so it's oh, going to yeah. roll out kind of like pork wood. I've done this with real pork. Slippery. Oh, it's slippery. It's a couple different things. I mean, look at that. That's not too bad. Feels like an alien creature. Yay! Hey, we did it! Doby and Doty. Nice. So now we got this all done. We're going to just slice these into three uh -huh. little rolls. We're going to kind of like fit them into each other like a puzzle piece. First two. Fit the third one on there. Yours looks amazing. Why does yours look so amazing? <laughs> it look like chashu. Okay, well, we're off to a good start then. Yay! You did it? I did it. You did it! Yay! Okay, so let's pat these dry a little bit because they're kind of moist yeah. still. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to dredge both sides of these in our cornstarch so we can fry them up. What do you think are some of the easiest Japanese dishes to veganize? I think Japanese food is very easy to veganize. Okay. Yeah, like miso soup, you can use kombu dashi yes. instead of like katsu, which is bonito. There is like so many options. So I'm going to flip it. I'm going to just want to give a nice color. Ooh, Look at that! So pretty! 
Whoa. Just look like a pork. Right? I kind of can't get over the look. The look is yeah. really good. Yeah. This is promising. This yeah. is like really good start. Okay. All right. It's time to make the broth. We're going to start with our dry ingredients. Okay. And you can go ahead and pop those in the pan and we'll let those heat up a little bit for like two to three minutes. And then we're gonna be essentially making a dashi. I like to make dashi for myself personally because kombu is high in iodine. Mm. Dashi is basically Japanese broth. Dashi is kind of like a primer when you're painting. Mm. Okay, so if miso is the leading lady, then mm -hmm. dashi is the support. So go ahead, toss that water in there. And then we have the kombu, which is just a dried seaweed or kelp, and shiitake mushrooms that are also dried. And once those are all in, we're gonna bring them to a boil, then we're gonna reduce that to a simmer, and we're gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes. All right. All right. So, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you mix up a nice little miso mixture. We've got some miso paste, we've okay. got some chili bean paste, toasted sesame oil, and soy sauce and water. While you're mixing that, I will start to remove some of these solids. Okay. We're just gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. And in the meantime, you know what time it is? <laughs> Trivia time! Trivia time! How much meat per year would you guess the average American eats in pounds? One year, it's 365 days, 200 pounds. Very close, oh. actually. It's 250, <laughs> 250 pounds. I think I got it then. Oh my God. <laughs> Ria's like, actually, I was right. Yeah, I was right. I'll give it to you because I like you, Ria. Yay. But you're close enough. That's why demand is important. People have to be looking for vegan options more often, mm -hmm. which is what I'm here to do. I think there's a misconception that vegan food is less flavorful, mm -hmm. but there is so many great food. And, you know, gokoku ramen was amazing. Yes. So I think people should experiment and explore more. So now we've taken this off the heat and we're gonna add in our soy milk. We don't wanna add it while it's simmering because then it'll curdle. So we've got bok choy, radish, bamboo, corn, green onions, sesame, nori sheets. We got some vegan butter. And of course, don't forget our beautiful concoction, our mushroom kashu. Chashu room. So I guess we go ahead and have a little bit of fun and assemble, shall All we? All right. It looks gorgeous. Yes. Well, Rie. Yes. What a journey. Yes. We worked for this. Yes. It looks great. We say itadakimasu before we eat. Itadakimasu? Yeah. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Ooh, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, <laughs> yeah. I didn't hold back on that chili oil, and I'm glad. It's, it's delicious, though. It's really good, right? Yeah. Chashu is, um, you know, it's pork, so it's braised, it's soft, mm -hmm. but this one, it's a mushroom, has a different texture to it. Yeah. But very satisfying. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we've got our three ramens here. This is your favorite ramen from Afri. This is not vegan. This is not vegan. This is yeah. your 10 though. This is like mm -hmm. the gold standard you hold ramen to. This is the ramen we tried from Gokoku. <sighs> Delicious. Yes. And then this is the ramen that you and I made together mm -hmm. here in the studio. So you're gonna Talk about what you liked and didn't like of each one and uh -huh. then give them each a rating. Am I gonna eat it? That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Just to jog the old memory. Mmm. Mmm. Smoky pork. Yama. I can tell it's lighter, like, just by looking at it. These two are both a bit creamier. I'm curious to see how this impacts what you think of both of these. Mmm. It's like pako flavor. But is it better? Mmm. Spicy! Oh yeah. It's good though. I'm scared. So this one is very rich, but I don't feel so heavy after I'm eating this. I love what we made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has like different kind of toppings and it's very exciting. The chashu we made, it looks like meat, but it's still kind of like mushroom. Okay. So it's not fooling you? Yeah. Having said that, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is 10 out of 10. No! <laughs> I feel like this one is my new favorite. Okay. This Great. is close. How close? How close? 
It's you know? really close. Yeah, if yeah. You round it up. Yeah, round it up. It's ten. But I respect that. This yeah. is a damn good ramen. This has been so much fun. You know what you have to do? You have to let me know who you want on the show next and what you would like me to make. All right. So should we just go eat some ramen? All right. I'm gonna take this one. Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, I know where your heart lies. I know where your heart lies. <laughs>